now let us solve another question so the question is let f is defined from 0 1 cross 0 1 to r be a function defined by f of x y is equal to x y upon x square plus y square if either x is non-zero or y is non-zero and it is equal to zero if x is equal to zero y if it is equal to y so both x and y are zero then the function is zero otherwise it is x y upon x square plus y square now then which of the following statements are true so they have given four statements for the function f so the first is f is continuous at 0 0 so let us see whether it is continuous at 0 0 or not so write the definition of function so the function is f of x y is equal to x y upon x square plus y square if x non zero or y is non zero now uh, see that uh, this function is and f of 0 0 that means when both are 0 it is 0 so the continuity means what we have to uh, take the limit limit as x y tends to 0 0 of this f of x y must be f of 0 0 correct then we say that this function f of x y is continuous at 0 0 now let us see whether this holds or not now in r2 we have two different uh, we have there are infinitely many paths to re, uh, to reach f of x uh, at 0 or uh, 0 comma 0 so as x y tends to 0 we take the path y is equal to mx a straight line path so on this path along this path f of x y is equal to x y upon x square plus y square so you just put y is equal to mx so it is x into mx divided by x square plus mx square so which is equal to m into x square upon x square plus m square into x square you cancel as x y tends to 0 that means it tends to 0 it is not exactly equal to 0 so you can cancel out this x square from numerator and denominator and this, this is just x upon 1 plus m square that means as limit along this path limit as x comma mx tends to 0 0 f of x comma mx is equal to m upon 1 plus m square along the path y is equal to mx so now as this m change the value of this function along the path will change because this depends on m so this limit the limit the limiting value is different along different paths So this limit does not exist. So limit as x y tends to 0 0 of f of x y does not exist. And hence as this limit does not exist so it cannot be equal to f of 0 0 and hence this lim uh, this f f of x y is not continuous is not continuous at 0 0 hence this option first is not correct so this is not correct now 
the second option says that f is a bounded function now we just have to uh, prove that some uh, this uh, function is bounded by some constant so let us see whether we can bound this function by some constant or not so now already the this zero is just bounded because uh, zero is a constant so it is bounded now just we just have to find out whether this quantity is bounded or not so this function is defined on 0 0 1 cross 0 1 that is 0 1 uh, the closed interval 0 1 square so the meaning of this is this x is lies in between 0 and 1 and also y lies in between 0 and 1 that means 0 is less equal x is less equal 1 also 0 less equal y is less equal 1 so this 0 is less equal x square less equal 1 and 0 is less equal y square is less equal 1 now we know that this x minus y the whole square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square and now this x and y are real numbers so the square of a real number is always greater or equal 0 hence this is greater or equal 0 now you just simplify it so it is just x square plus y square is greater or equal to xy so this implies xy is less equal x square plus y square divided by 2 correct now this function f of xy is just xy upon x square plus y square now you just use this so it is less equal xy is less equal x square plus y square by 2 and this x square plus y square is as it is so this is just you cancel this x square plus y square so it is just 1 by 2 that means you can bound this by 1 by 2 but you just take the modulus of f of xy so xy upon x square plus y square is less equal half that means this is just mod of f of xy so this implies f of xy is a bounded function correct hence the second option is true. now go for third option so third option says that this integral from 0 to 1 0 to 1 double integral from 0 to 1 f of x y dx dy exist now uh, you just recall one property from the integration that uh, if f is continuous almost everywhere on this uh, on the domain then it is integrable so here the function f of x y is continuous uh, for any x y um, with x and y both non-zero so this function is integrable because see here this function f of x y is just a quotient of polynomials into variables so for x non-zero or y non-zero this function is continuous correct and this function is just discontinuous at x is equal to 0 which is equal to y as we uh, we have from this f is continuous at 0 0 is false that means it is discontinuous at point 0 0 and otherwise it is continuous now this point is just a point from the domain so it has major 0 so this function f of x y is continuous almost everywhere so for the third option f is continuous almost everywhere so this implies f is integrable hence, hence 0 to 1 f of x y the integral exist so this third option is also correct now for the fourth option f is continuous at 1 comma 0 
now see here this 1 comma 0 that means this uh, point lies in the first uh, that is either x is non zero or y is non zero because here x is 1 that is it is non zero so and y is 0 so it lies over here so it is the function is x y upon x square plus y square so this function is continuous and hence this f is continuous at 1 comma 0.